Joining me now to discuss how AI has impacted the chip sector is Gene Sheridan, co-founder and CEO of Navitas. Gene, good morning. Great to have you back here on the show. Thanks so much for having me, Frank. Good to see you again. All right. So, Gene, I don't want to start off with, you know, the bad part, but your stock's down pretty sharply this year. Um, you're not tied directly to AI, but you do. Your chips are used in power supply, including power supplies for data centers. Um, give me a sense. How has the AI trade impacted demand and also investor per perception of your company? Yeah, that's right. So semiconductors are actually down with the big exception of AI. And we're not shipping to AI today. So we, our stock price reflects that. But that's about to change dramatically. AI requires an exponential growth in power. We make energy efficient power chip technology that's about to go into AI data centers to deliver that power very energy efficiently. All right. So the real idea here is that you want to be like the picks and shovel of this AI trade. You're not necessarily the chip that people are going to use in a data center. But the idea is that you can support, uh, you know, some of the, uh, the moves that people are trying to make to reduce their power cost and also be more efficient with their data centers. Why do you think investors aren't quite getting that, that you are one of those picks and shovels companies? Um, what do you think the disconnect is? Because, of course, power is such a big part of the story. Yeah, it's well, it's just rolling out. Everything's developing very quickly. A year ago, we didn't see this coming. Nobody saw it coming. But luckily, we developed new technology. Uh, we, it's called gallium nitrite and silicon carbide. These are new energy efficient power chip technologies that make power supplies more energy efficient. We can deliver up to three times faster power, more powerful uh, power delivery in half the size with better energy efficiency. The technology is just coming out now. We started sampling late last year. Our customers are integrating it into data center power supplies as we speak. They'll start ramping later this year, and this will be tens of millions for us next year, hundreds of millions in the future. So it's all unfolding right as we speak. You know, Gene, I know you're, you're talking your own book, but I've done some research. Uh, another company, Amdia, uh, they actually put out a, a note just recently saying that GAN, which is your core chip business, uh, GAN specifically could help operators save in three areas, energy loss, the cost of cooling data centers, and the space required for servers. So there seems to be a consensus that your tech can help. But I also want to ask you about some of your customers, AWS, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, Samsung, Dell, a lot of huge names. What are they saying to you about their demand for these chips to use in their data centers? Um, are are they telling you they're just focused on AI chips right now? Like, why aren't you seeing a big uptick in business with this big shift to data centers? It's about rolling it out. The development time for power supplies into data centers is about 18 months. We're trying to cut that in half as we speak. So what they're telling me is go faster, hurry up with these developments, get these into power supplies, get these into data centers. And that's exactly what we're doing. We're tripling the power delivery in about 12 months when that would normally take years in a traditional sense. So it's about speed now and solving this power problem as fast as we can. All right. It's not all about AI, of course. Um, you also provide chips that help power cell phones, uh, computers, other things like that. What are you hearing on the demand side of that? We're hearing a lot of talk about a possible big upswing and super cycle when it comes to PCs because of AI. I know it's not all about AI, but I'm talking about the hardware here. That's right. So we're already converting traditional silicon chips to fast charger phones, tablets, or laptops, like you talked about, Frank, three times faster charging in half the size, half the weight. Who doesn't want that? Everybody wants faster charging. We're now starting to do that for the same thing in electric vehicles, onboard chargers. Big demand for these sorts of things. Our revenue has tripled in the last two years. So we see big demand for it. Despite the slowdown, we can keep growing because we're displacing existing silicon in existing markets, driving that continued growth. Gene, good to see you. Thanks for your time and for your insight. Really appreciate it as always.